Alrighty folks, this is Lurt from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. I'm flying around in one of my latest creations, a little something I've been working on today. I call this guy the Flying Badger. A lot of people have been asking for like a, a cannon jet or a cannon ship of some kind, like flying plane thing. And some other people have been asking for something like a flying squirrel. So, me and Ruger have been sort of messing about with these today and I've spent a lot longer on mine than Ruger has and I've got this little beauty here now it has got a 6 barrel 150mm uh, shotgun uh, there are 6 auto loaders built in here let's see if I can get into the insides and we can have a look at the shell now this runs on vanilla AI it's got the default one it's got a single gunpowder one stabilizer fin for accuracy, very very useful in this case, and four, uh, four HE warheads. I have been experimenting with squash warheads and uh, various different ones with the other one, the shape charge, and with this sort of relatively low gauge, let's get this set up here, um, I find just the four HE warhead seems to work the best, just, just for this particular application. Uh, it gives you quite a bit more explosive radius and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, uh, in my testing that's worked quite well. It goes about 150 millimeters uh, per second, or 105, sorry, and we have this little douche stick on the back, as I like to call them, uh, to detract fire, uh, and it's just outside the radius, and you only need two barrels to keep these cannons firing. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I'll show this guy off in like a little montage at the end, but for now, I'm going to jump over to Ruger's little creation. I will have this up on the workshop for you, and I'll be uh, Ruger will be putting up his as well for you too. Um, so you can take it apart yourself and have a look at what goes on in the inside, if you would like to know how it works. But for now, I'm going to cut to Ruger's little craft, and we'll see what it does. Ah, oh, this cute little fella is the Flying Vole. And it's Ruger's sort of attempt at the similar, uh, a similar sort of thing to what I was working on, a sort of flying squirrel-esque little cannon fighter type thing, and uh, he did a pretty cool job. This flies at about 70 meters per second, it's got a 5 barrel 102 millimeter cannon on the front here, and it shoots these shells, double gunpowder stabilizer fin, 4 HE, and a ship charge. And it's got uh, whereas mine had a downwards facing cannon, this one has a forward facing cannon. It's got this cool little face in the front. <laughs> so yeah, that one is also going up on the workshop for you guys to play with. There's uh, not very much else to talk about with them. They're uh, fairly simple little fl uh, planes, so they're both running vanilla AI as well. Have a look at the settings here. Uh, this is his. Uh, my one's actually very similar, except fact that I have the angle of deviation turned before starting to set to 15. But uh, as I'm going to drop the blueprint down there, I'm not going to cover too much more information on these, and I'm going to just go to a montage, and you can have a look at them blowing stuff up. Enjoy the montage, guys.
So what do you think of the montage? These little guys are by no means indestructible, but I did forget to mention the price earlier. Badger weighs in whoop, at a very reasonable 58,000 RP, and the vole's a little cheaper again, at a tidy 42,000 RP. Now both of these ships can hold their own against ships of a similar price in the campaign, and indeed much more expensive things as well. You did see them take out a bulwark in the in the montage after all. They don't have great DPS and they do take a while to get to that sort of killing level, but they're in the end quite efficient for their cost. Uh, maybe they make a pretty good addition to your campaign. They'd be great harassment fighters to support a larger ship with just a bit more DACA to help take out those uh, final final hits. They do a great job of disabling weapons and stuff for uh, larger vessels as well. But uh, workshop links for both vehicles are in the video description and you can go download them and have a play with them yourself. I know this was a bit of a short one, but there really isn't much to say about these little fellas. They are pretty damn cute though. Look at those little ears. Isn't it cute? So, <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, any likes, uh, subs, comments, I really, really appreciate them. I love hearing from you guys, and I do read every single comment. I do my best to reply to all of them. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day.